Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today, the rivets continue to rivet, but in person. Let's take a nice shop with me down to the Coach Retail Store, check out the latest riveting styles, and the latest summer slash fall colors. I think, personally, I'm sorry, all these girls are better than you. But before we hop into today's shop with me slash shopping vlog for Coach Retail, if you guys love Coach, unboxings, hauls, luxury, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky <coughs> YouTube L go rhythm. They don't get hungry, they don't sleep. I do. I have even had dreams. Let us dive right into this brand new shopping vlog with the newest addition to the Rogue bags. The Rogue color block in true blue with rivets. This style is absolutely riveting. I love the color block with black and true blue. It just makes the rivets pop really nicely. I am very impressed with this bag. Now, the leather is also really soft, but it is a bit thinner than the regular Rogue leather. I assume that's just due to the fact that they have rivets in it, and sometimes with rivets, you can't just puncture through thick, thick leather, so... $1,130. Very, very expensive. So that basically includes with the price increase. Take a nice quick look on the inside of the bag. And as you can see, you get to see all the beautiful leather, the beautiful rivets. And it looks great with my outfit. You can't see her, but Umbretta is underneath my armpit all cozied up and looking fabulous. Next to the Rogue is the Mini Cash and Tote with rivets in the color True Blue. Now, the lighting isn't catching this color the greatest because of the white light. I don't know what's going on, but uh, the color looks a lot better in person. It looks a lot more saturated in person. $360. So that one had a price decrease, but thankfully, <laughs> it's a cute bag though. I do really enjoy it. Here we have the Rogue 25 with color block and snake skin detail. Got some beautiful hardware. As you can see, the leather is thicker on like the Rogue itself and it has leather trimming. With the rivets, there was no trim around it. It was just riveted. This one is $875. And that's only the $25. Looking really cute with it as well. Probably my least favorite out of the newest rogues. Just feels like something we've seen a hundred times from them. But it's still a really cute design. And the colors really pop. Next to that, though, is the Rogue 17 in rivets with the color black. I really enjoy this, though, These with the rivets, the bags are lighter than their counterparts. $580, quite a bit of money for a 17 style, but I think this one warrants the price tag. It's adorable. Just the weight is a little lighter than its counterpart so you know the leather isn't as thick but the style itself looks just sickening absolutely sickening
all the rivets on it are just so well done and I think it just looks so luxurious and edgy. Here we got the Rogue Briefcase. The Rogue Briefcase. As you can see, there is that thick leather on here as well. This one also has the signature textile jacquard, but with the brown leather trim. Just pop it open. I just love how sophisticated and classy this handbag design is. It adds a nice manly edge to any style or any kind of outfit you're going to wear with it. But it just, it looks very classy. It looks very classy. And it's so well made. It was such a luxurious bag to play with. I couldn't find the price tag. Annoyingly. But let's try it on. <laughs> it looks so good. Now, I'm not too big into briefcases just because of how you have to store things in there. And, you know, my roommate was messing around behind me. <laughs> Quickly take a look at the mini cash and tote with army green. Deep green, army green, I can't remember. Maybe it's pine green. Yeah, is it pine green, you guys? Someone help me here. But it's just as cute as the true blue, though. I, I definitely prefer the true blue. True blue is just a nicer color. And as well, the lighting isn't catching the green very well. The green is a lot more saturated. And then taking another look at one of the color block 25 rogues. Just looking real cute as you can see the leather is not as thick it's fairly flimsy compared to the other leathers but again that's just due to the rivets though one could argue the rivets could be thicker but you know we can't girl do you know how much money that bag would be if it was like like this one here if it was like this one here, girl, that bag would be at least $1,500. Like, I swear to you. Like, so maybe we're lucky to get such a, like, a thinner leather with the rivets so they can bring down the price point. But regardless, I'm sure both will hold up excellently. $1,040 for this one here. That is insane. But so many beautiful rogues. They're going really hard with the rogue style recently. and Well, lately. And I'm, I'm here for it. I would really love to one day add a rogue to my handbag collection. Definitely not this Tom Wesselman for $950. But a riveted one wouldn't be bad. I would be happy with that. And I like looking at these little handles here. How they're just like punched into the leather and they look really well made moving on to some new styles for the willow tote bag looking really cute with this new floral print it's got all of the like spring and fall colors you could also use this for sorry did i say spring it's got all these summer, spring, and fall colors, so you could definitely use this as, like, a, for those three seasons. It would be a little out of place for winter, but $430 Canadian. Not bad. Glad to see these ones didn't get tinkered around too much with the price point, because, girl, we still need affordable bags. We still need something affordable. And this is stunning with my outfit. Because of obviously the top I'm wearing. <laughs> it just, it blends really nicely. I'm pretty sure it's like the exact same shade. It's cute. Now, here we have the Willow Bucket Bag. With the brand new color Flax. As I knock over another one behind it. I'm going to harp on this color. Because I don't know if some of you think I'm joking. When I say I'm colorblind, but I'm actually colorblind, like genuinely, like I have been to the doctor, I've been diagnosed as colorblind. I am colorblind. This bag color really, really messes with my colorblindness. Like I can't tell if it's yellow or green. 
or if it's both or like it's one of those things where it kind of bothers me enough that I wouldn't buy it just because I am colorblind and I can't I don't I don't like bag colors that really mess with that like with this purple here it looks I can see the purple like I, it looks good like I'm not like, oh, is that blue? Is that purple? Is that black? Like, what's going on here? Is it a maroon? No, this is purple. 480 bucks. Not bad either. But I can tell that this is a purple color. So with the flax color, as much as I want to like it, like, I really like it, but I can't tell what color it is. Sometimes it looks green to me. Sometimes it looks yellow. I know, like, it might be like that for, like, regular people as well, but for me... When bad colors really, like, mess with my colorblindness that bad, I try to avoid them. And here is some of the riveted wallets. Some of the riveted snap billfold wallets. Bifold wallets, whatever. I give up with trying to figure it out. Very cute pieces. I ri again, with the true blue. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And then this is a color block, ooh, I think the, the, the wind wallet, the wind snap wallet. Looks cute as well. I like the color blocking. You got the flax, I think, mixed with like a brown. So it kind of makes the flax neutralize in color so I can see it better. And I like that. And here they have some of their newest pieces. The, they release these bags every now and then as like a uh, cheaper counterpart to their retail bag. So like it's still retail made, still a retail bag, but it's made to be pra placed at like a fairly cheaper price point, which is always nice to see. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you, but all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 four thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's shop with me because, girl, there was multiple things I wanted to get. The rivets were most definitely riveting. The rivets were riveting. <laughs> I know I keep saying that as, like, a reference point, but, girl, it, it's true. It's true. Let's take our little canoe down the river to the rivet island and let's get riveting. Honestly. Rivets, rivets, rivets. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's shop with me, please hit that subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's video or outfit of the day. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a beautifully generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's over. Show's <laughs> over. <laughs>